A good morning and welcome to our daily Mass, which is being broadcast to all our parishioners and beyond. In this time of pandemic, we invite you to join us in this virtual Mass and to make an act of spiritual communion. Uh, today's Mass is being offered for Maria Tedesco. Would you welcome our presider, Father David Warren? Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And dear friends, good morning and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Special welcome to all of you who are joining us virtually this morning. This morning's Gospel, we hear that Jesus brings healing to the leper. There is a leper inside each one of us. There's a side of us that we don't like, a side of us that seems to haunt us, a side of us that we are ashamed of. Jesus invites us to embrace the leper in our lives. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what what I have have done, done, in what what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, "Uh, Today, if you hear his voice, um, 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 do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion as on the day of testing in the wilderness, where your ancestors put me to the test. Though they had seen my work for for 40 years, uh, um, therefore I was angry with that generation, and I said, they always go astray in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. As in my anger I swore, they will not enter my rest. Uh, Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, um, so that none of you may have be, so that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partners of Christ. If only we hold our first, our first confidence firm to the end. Uh, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Um, do not harden your hearts as at, as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness, when your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, 
though they had seen my work. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. For forty years I loathed that generation and said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not regard my ways. Um, therefore in my anger I, I swore, They shall not enter my rest. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A man with leprosy came to Jesus begging him, and kneeling he said to him, If you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded, as a testimony to them. But the man went out and began to proclaim it freely, and to spread the word, so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly but stayed out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your heart. These words are repeated several times today especially in the first reading and in our responsorial psalm. Although a simple command that we receive uh, through the readings, these words are a foundational part of our spiritual life. By saying these words, the author of the epistle to the Hebrews is telling the people that they should always keep their hearts open, have faith, and believe in the power and the love of the Lord. The first reading refers to the many wonders and signs that that God had given to the Hebrew people, even giving them the Ark of the Covenant. And yet, even with these many signs and wonders, they did not give him any space in their hearts. The people of Israel were so caught up in the external in external signs and the wonders that all these miracles brought, that they were not open to receiving anything new in the actual desert of their hearts. We even see in the Gospel that the leopard did not demand or expect to be healed. But rather he said, if you choose, you can make me clean. His heart was open to this grace and to this miracle. He had faith in what Jesus would do, and he had an openness to whatever Jesus decided to do in that moment, whether he chose to heal him or not. And as a result of the miracle, we see that many people were flocking to Jesus and he had to retreat away from them. But what does this have to do with us Catholics now? We need to keep our hearts open and be willing to receive whatever the Lord is giving us. Our hearts need to be open and receptive to experience new graces and gifts um, that the Lord would bestow on us in our lives. Relying too much on the externals of the faith can prevent us from allowing the Lord into the silence of our hearts where we can encounter him in a much deeper way and experience his comfort and his love. The externals of the faith are important and serve the purpose of, but serve the purpose of bringing us deeper into this, um, into the faith's mysteries. But it should not be where we stop. Um, The next step involves having an unwavering faith and openness, just like the leper had when he went up to Jesus asking if he would be healed. Opening a heart to the Lord gives us the opportunity to truly experience God, um, God's love and to fill us with a much greater wonder and awe than anything that anything external can ever impart on us. So as you go today, if we hear God's voice, let us not harden our hearts.
With trust in God's goodness and mercy, we now present to him our petitions. This morning's Mass, we remember the late Maria Tedesco. We ask the Lord to give her a place in his heavenly kingdom. For the late Maria Tedesco, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember all the faithful departed, and especially the late Virgilio Villas. For him and all the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The um, coronavirus continues to claim more and more lives in the province of Ontario. We are now in a state of um, emergency. We ask the Lord to bring healing to this land and to bring a quick end to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our American sisters and brothers who are very going through a very tumultuous time in their political history. For the United States and its people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions in our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, your Son Jesus assures us that if we seek, we find. If we ask, we receive. If we knock, the door is open to us. We ask you, Lord, to hear our prayers and answer us in your mercy and wisdom. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. And blessed be God forever. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me, O Lord, from my sins. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that your sacrifice and mine might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, 
broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
we will now pray together and act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you, ha you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely, um, entirely to you. Uh, never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go now in peace to glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.